What is up, you horror nerds? It is me, your host, once again, Jeremiah Duncan. I have got to tell you about this movie. I went to the theaters last night, and I watched this movie in the theaters. You have to watch it. It's awesome. I'm talking about the 2022 release of Smile. Don't have anything to show you because it's in theaters, but it is rated R, and it is fantastic. Thank you, thank you... Mr. Parker Finn for writing, directing this, and making it rated R. Because that's what the world needs, is more rated R horror movies. Thank you. Again, written, directed by Parker Finn. Um, he The only movies he's really done is a short film, uh, Laura Hasn't Slept, which is actually, this is kind of a remake of it, and uh, Hide Behind. So... This guy's going to be good. It's up and coming, um, director, writer, because this is phenomenal. The cinematography is beautiful. Scenes are upside down. The shots are wonderful. Story is great. The acting was great. If you haven't seen the trailer for this, you need to go and watch it right now because it is creepy. It is next level. Um, essentially, what the premise is, is after um, witnessing a bizarre and traumatic incident involving a patient, you've got Dr. Rose Cotter actually starts experiencing all these things there's like frightening occurrences of people smiling and you know she can't explain it and she has to end up confronting her own troubling past in order to survive and escape her new horrifying reality and there is kind of like a mix there going on of like trauma that she's dealt with that is showing up and it's just fascinating because you're like wait is she seeing this is this real is this some sort of paranormal type entity the special effects were phenomenal i can't talk enough about this film i i just love the creepy vibe of it and the very end i don't want to give it away but the creature is just awesome looking um it did feature uh suzy bacon um i believe is her name uh, she was in the scream tv series um also had jesse t usher in it who is a train on the boys um, he was also in Tales of the Walking Dead, and it did feature um, Kyle uh, Gallner, I believe is his name. He was in the Scream movie from 2022. The marketing strategy, I love good marketing strategies when it comes to horror movies, especially new ones. They had people in MLB games, they had people at Good Morning America just standing there with a bright shirt that said smile that were just standing there creepy as F. All right. And fantastic marketing strategy. I loved it. The budget was actually about 17 million for this. Um, they were going to do it lower than that. They did a screening. People loved it. So they bumped the budget up to get more special effects. It's worth it. It looked great. Opening weekend, I think in the U.S., it did 22.6 million worldwide. I think they're already sitting at 47.2 million or something like that. I'm giving this a 7.5 out of 10. Great film. Go watch it. Smile awesome film so glad we have some original horror coming at us and it's not just another flipping remake so thank you mr parker finn hat tip to you if you've seen it comment below i want to hear your thoughts like subscribe hit the death bell i got more reviews coming to you daily appreciate y'all